Hello once again to a ranked game of mine on Rocky River with Ayubitz versus English. I think Ayubitz is probably the strongest Sith on this map. The only Sith that maybe can win versus Ayubitz on this map is Abyssid. Also, matchup wise, I think. Also, Abyssid has probably a favorable matchup into a Ubits on this map because it's Abyssid and it just have a favorable matchup. It's a Ubits. They do everything a little bit slower, but just better. <laughs> so. I, the thing is why are you bits when Abyssid is so strong? The, this map only has two fir shoreline fish on every uh, pond. And Abyssid dogs cost less, so you pay 300 for two fishing ships. Uh, 215 for two fishing ships on each pond. While... Uh, Japanese al alone with the second cheapest uh, pays 230 wood for one case of food. It's still okay, but not that good. So these two subs can really greedily boom on this map with the fish. And why Ayubits is in general better is because they can get punished. If the enemy goes for early aggression, you just pop up the uh, culture wing and go to fast feudal age. And have a more or less the same timing feudal age as your opponent. If they don't do it, you can go up with something greedy. And Abyssid is, in my eyes, just a plain continental Ubits. The only scary thing would be. Uh, a fast castle age man at arm all in, but to be honest, since the camel land uh, archer is buffed, I don't think that's any problem. You just can go spearman camel archers, and the enemy, also Ayubit, has nothing against that. Their desert raiders don't win ranged fights versus camel archers. The crossbows might win, but they take too long to really snowball. Especially as I said, you just can go archers and you counter the crossbows as well if the moment you hit Castle Age and before you can hit with the crossbows. The Camel Lancer just loses to Spearmen and the Desert Raider loses in ranged or melee matchup, I think, versus... Uh, melee they could win uh, if they can get, uh, close the gap versus... The Camel Archer they could win, but the problem is they have Spearmen in the way and ranged the same. And Ghulams just die to Camel Archers. Six Camel Archers, one shot or two shot are... Ghulams, so... You don't really have a good option as a Ubits versus Abyssid. And your eco is also worse, you pay more for food. So, yeah. But I think a Ubits has a better matchup into everything else than Abyssid on this map because Abyssid is. In my eyes, too slow for the fish start. You skip your TCs by a long time, also about two minutes. Uh, you get, also you get your TCs a lot later with this opener. That means in practice less eco for Abyssid. Especially, it's only 2k food for two pounds. So, yeah, you're probably getting a more or less neutral effect, and if the enemy punishes the dogs, you're fucked as Abyssid. Also, if they stop your TCs even further, this timing push with Abyssid, I could do nothing. And I would get pushed out of stone, so, yeah.
ein Matcher fest, ach Ju also das war ja ein Plänger Jubitz. I don't think his push is really scary, so I went up with some economic force. Just getting my power spikes going. As I have so much food income at the moment because of the fishing ships and not the long number on food now it pops a little bit. I the, at the moment I'm just topping outpost so he can't be pushed. The problem is it's English and English still can push from here, even if I would have get arrow slits. The solution for that. That's a little bit stupid. Um, I sent them all on wood. My opponent, at the meantime, building more houses. It's a little bit sad. I also rally the House of Wisdom now to the wood because I don't want them to run to the gold. I have at the moment the four fishing ships, most of the thing. Now I have three villagers extra. And I just to pump out just two stables because he has nothing but longbows and he hasn't even a large amount of longbows really. He wants to this gold so he can still be from getting gold here. I don't really know what this should do, but okay. Get a sheep here. And yeah, at the moment he's behind in food income, he has a little bit more wood income, a little bit more gold income, but I have still more gold. He gets ahead in eco upgrades, he got all over the wheelbarrow and get more horta, horta, horta culture. Yeah, the horse will clean up the longbows. Ah, and he pulls them back. Yeah. I now pull them back on grand on gold. And I'm just going for a fast castle edge. I think I get two more uh, horsemen out. So I have six horsemen. Probably six horsemen with three longbows. So this should be an easy fight for me. He is also getting slowly close to Castle Age. The problem for him is he has to build barracks at the moment because horsemen pulled the fishing ships a little bit back so they don't get that much damaged. Now I clean up the rest of his army here. Late with the ability. Now also got the scout. Still didn't lose a unit. He's starting to wall. I don't really know why. He's now supposed to spearman, what's really nice for me because I'm at the moment going up to Castle Age with logistics. Why logistics? Because it was clear he goes to Spearman, so my camel, as it is English, is really closed off. So my camel lancer push is a little bit slower. I should still hit earlier than him, so I should probably get all the relics. And yeah, yeah, also get a villager kill, really nice. Can't even stop this wall here. The clicking was a little bit bad because of the wood. He pulls his units out. Sends another villager to build the wall. I'm also started to mine stone here now. And yeah. 
Now I'm running into Switzerland to just idle it. He is. He could also go up to Castle Age, but at the moment he can't because yeah, my unit's running around the space. That's quite a good kill for a trade for him probably, but yeah, it's also a lot of idle time. He probably now should drop his second TC, also his King's Palace. More idle time? Yeah, now his King's Palace. That's clear. And yeah, I am going up, got the three dervishes. Now of this relic, I know of this relic, that's why the two dervishes run here. I know of this relic, and I know of but this relic, that is where he's running. This one I didn't scout, but. Should be fine. Setting my scout just died here. Now he's traded a little bit better, but I killed a villager. But he will probably soon catch up in villagers because yeah, his king's palace um, goes up, so that's nothing to see. And my shoreland fish also wants out, so that's soon for economy units less. It's only three villager lead again. Did he kill one or did I forget to produce one? I think I forgot to produce for a short time. Because I should have four because I killed one of three of economy wing. Collecting the relics at the moment. Sending him here. And I think I probably completely forget him for a long time. Send him to the top sacred side, I think. Yeah, King's Palace is unworking and he goes for Men at Arms. Interesting choice. I at the moment just thinking I can go Imperial Age. <laughs> and no way he can follow me there because of the fish. So let's place a market down so I can buy Imperial Age, get the upgrade for Desert Raiders in. Because I go of course up with Military Wing for 7 Desert Raiders every 2 minutes. Oh my god, that's so unlucky for him. And he doesn't react. Wow. Yeah, he stands still, still here with the units. Soon they run out. So he has now a villager lead in 20 seconds or something like that. Uh, the villager lead he has already, but he will have also an equal lead because the fish runs out. To be fair, I still have the gold from three relics at the moment. Now one sacred side. This one also scouts now the top relic here. Also, I should remember this soon, so that's five relics soon. For to zero, so that should do the. That makes this villager lead not that big. Interesting army, I don't really know where he goes crossbows. Um, yeah, I might go school arms. But to be honest, Gunnams are really, really weak versus English, men at, uh, English in general. First of all, English can go really easily crossbows. They have good crossbows with their network of castles or citadels later on. And the problem is your men at arm loses to so their men at arm fully upgraded because armor trap gives them plus two armor and the Gunnam attacks twice. It's not that efficient. Yeah, that's a lot of 6 armor unit without the uh, uh, Blackstone of Upgrades. You also don't really want to go crossbows because your rank unit is countered by longbows. He now wants into my eco, but quite hurtful. That's my at arms. But I'm soon in Imperial Age. So, okay, I think that's fine at the moment. Got, in, got a defensive keep here, the stone, gold, okay, the gold one out, the other stone too. Uh, 
Man at arm is still chasing. He now got four villager kills, so as you can see. I'm pretty sure I don't delete this relationship soon. He has now a six equal lead, two and an eight. If it not, I think he kills also a villager here more. But income wise, yeah, of course, he has double the food, has half the wood, and less gold. Yeah, the desert raiders come in. And they deal quite well with when at arms, funny enough. To be honest, the man at arms doesn't protect them at all here in this fight, they just focus on the villagers. And he gets 6, yeah. Yeah, that's 13 with an attack to 19. Okay, it's also an edge, um, also an edge up, but there are 7 melee armor. What can go up to 13 with all the upgrades? And yeah, I go with my usual Ayubit unit, hand cannoneer. Because I quite like hand cannoneers with Ayubit. I think I put a lot of stone at the moment also. He he kept the sacred side, so I recapping it, so I get three again. As you can see, my gold income is uh, still higher, but yeah, my food income is a choke to his. It's under the half of his food income, but okay, it's English with a lot of farms. How many? He has 41 on food, I have 14. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, a big pico bonus is of course uh, camel support. That's how many? 180 resources times 7. Since 700, 1k every 2 uh, It's over two, 1k in over 2 minutes. In 2 minutes. That's quite bad. Getting more food upgrade at the moment. He's also uh, upgrade wise quite good ahead. I scout his army. Don't really like it. And yeah, I sent the engineers up here to defend. I'm also still doesn't have chemistry or biolo biology. He's getting getting up to imperial age, what's I think quite a smart idea. And getting a Megonel, interesting choice. I'm getting a key at his big gold vein here. So this would also be a nice keep location. I also want to secure this. If you control here this with a keep and this with a keep, you are really good on this map because yeah, he only has two small gold pots on the map any longer. So this one and this one is already running out and there's this one. So his gold should run quite short soon enough. I'm pushing this army here at the moment. Here the three men at arms are really annoying. I scouted the Megonel. But that's the Desert Raiders. They don't have uh, infantry support, what quite hurts me. The good thing is he went crossbows, and crossbows absolutely suck versus Desert Rider because they are they're light units, and they don't really have ranged armor, so yeah, it's not the best idea to go, also long, long boss will just way better, that's 8 damage. 
cool. Twelve. But they shoot more or less. Not fast. That was just terrible of me. He killed 29 villagers now. It's 75 equal to 90. I now get a second TC here. Clear off the man at arms. He gets air volley. Push is not that scary at the moment. I finally got infantry support, I think. <laughs> Losing, of course, more villagers. What else, what else to do? Should be weak at the moment, but it's not the best trade. And we have a standoff here at the moment. I also think I grab the yeah, tight bombs so I get everything. So he can't push at all, so he pulls his mess back. Smart idea. And yeah, now they have 5 ranged armor and 10 melee armor. So his crossbows are really weak against them slowly. To be fair, the longbows also aren't that good with only 3 damage anymore. It's still fine, but. That's what I mean. The that's the way I think suck until you have 10 support and they get actually relatively good. Especially if you get them for free. And after 6 minutes the uh, landmark pays off. It serves the cost more or less alone in desert traders. Hey, we got a spring on it. Smart cookie. He now goes to this gold. Correct choice. And to be honest, I should, should check if he was in this gold. They, most, they probably also should have gone there. Hey, third villager kill. Four, five, six. I am also now on 40 C's. So just trust that they can catch up in villager count. He starts to push, I start to dive with Springles. Get a second good shot in. Yeah. And yeah, the hand cannoneers feel now 
I do, I'll do it. I'll do it faster, second like damage. More or less all the time because they have such high space damage already that they kill you in a solid 50 fast. He, he cleaned it up, he tried it, destroyed it, tried it even better. He still has at the moment a better economy. Also, better food economy. Even gold is better. And wood. Just on his just a lot worse. I got now a keep up here, so he can't really take my gold veins. That more or less cleaned up the value of destroyed villagers. I uh, destroyed value. Okay, it's still a the villagers destroyed behind, but that's fine. And um, because I now more or less catched up again, and I have five relics, of course. He oh, he went and tried to go to this gold. And found out there's a keep and left a few more villagers. He also still has villagers of myself. 52 now, Jesus. He gets more farms. Does he have tight farm? What? He doesn't have the upgrade that he gets gold from his farms. That's quite bad. Especially he doesn't have any gold anymore left. Now he has to have the upgrade because he gets the gold income. Huh, interesting. Yeah, so he has the upgrade, it just doesn't show somehow. Oh yeah, big fight in the middle, he pushes again. Sadly, I have six Meganels and a Culverine. And I got two both of Springles and just cleaned up his army. And now I'm off already, uh, I'm 4k ahead in what you killed. But also a lot better because most of his value killed in the past minutes besides of the also okay the hand cannons are expensive as shit but how much does they cost 150 and 120 120 but they are really expensive but i think he also killed a lot of desert raiders and desert raiders i didn't build any of them at the, uh, until now also got uh Sacred set again with an extra keep here. Get on this. See, he's now on the stone now. I think I move up with the Mega Nails here and pull these villagers back. Yeah. Six Mega Nails incoming and two Towers of the Sultans. And yeah, now I'm 26, and we are even in eco in eco count again, more or less. What means I am quite good uh, far ahead because yeah, so sacred sites again and for Felix. Okay, my wood upgrades and mining up wood upgrades are weaker. My mining is even better than his because I have a golden age one. I close this Golden Edge 2, what would be uh, quite nice for the, uh, the siege I built. Because uh, also getting siege 20% cheaper is quite valuable. And then yeah, this building gave me so much value now. 
He runs in again for a trade and gets absolutely slaughtered. I think he kill, uh, cleans up my siege, but... He cleaned up the siege, but the problem is it's still 6 ranged armor and, and 11 melee armor, so I managed to arm these 5 damage to the melee. They did 5 damage, to, as a longbow did the same damage as I managed to arm for English versus uh, the Saturators. That's why I think they're actually really good in Imperial Age. Because they have such a high armor count, so men at arms do shit against them. Even crossbows do shit against them because they're light. Archers do okay versus them. And hand cannoneers do quite well against them. But because I also go hand cannoneers, I probably have more hand cannoneers than my opponent. That's quite a bad threat. As I shouldn't maybe stand in the. Berkshire Palace range. Also, they do quite okay damage. If I had the ranged attacks, they might be a little bit, doing that a little bit more. Oh, I still don't have the plus two melee armor, plus three. So I could get the chemist up to 13, and then that would be three damage of a man at arm. Okay, four damage of a man at arm. Does a four damage man at arm sound good, really? Spear, spears do better against them, but even spearmen do not let much damage. The bonus damage is relevant because we this is the actual damage, but it's quite a lot lower than for any other cavalry. And yeah, they're still trading up here. Uh, slowly he kills it, but yeah, he destroys so much spare wax, so that's a lot of wood lost for him. And he can't really lose the wood. And... As you can see, the, yeah, that's the keep also down. I don't know, 8k ahead. Second side victory, approaching 6 minutes 24. My death had radar run in his base. I have 20 villagers more than he has now. Golden H4 achieved. Trying to get to uh, Golden H5 now to get Camel 20% attack speed. So that it gets even better. And he didn't reach 12 armor. And he still doesn't have the attack. Okay, with that they get. Uh, oh, he didn't even have elite army tactics. With that, he, his man at arms would be a lot better. So they get about to 7 or 6 again. Fully upgraded, but yeah, it's still a nine armor unit with six dam uh, six damage, and they deal a lot more. And only cost forty three, so this is more in late game. And the only reason they are really viable are uh, the camera support. As a infantry support for the cameras. Because a no ranged armor based unit to a 3 ranged armor based unit here to infantry is a big improvement. I guess archers. And yeah, the Polish hits again. They shot one now here in the eco. Only 4 minutes left. Another trebuchet. 
Very easy, also running out of wood slowly. That's his last. This is last foot line that's uncontested. And he gives up. So <coughs> I think with five relics you can of sure play Ayubis late game. I think really really late game they aren't that bad. But they don't really have that great of eco bonuses and they just have to get up a huge army and snowball the army. And it's always getting some timing into some age, into some army the enemy can't really deal with at the time. Try it greatly up to be fair, it was camels and hand cannoneers, so two really expensive units versus relatively cheap units. 20, 26k more food for him, 500 uh, wood, 6.8k less stone and 2k less gold. Hmm. I hope you had uh, great fun, see you guys and best of luck in your games, bye!